Hi, this is Tibor from retail.era.ca and it's time for Chip's tips. This time, I'm going to see if Chip can figure out how to boost our Wi-Fi network. Very exciting. Let's see how this goes. Hi, hey, Chip. I've got a challenge for you. I'm going to stump you this time. Maybe. I'm getting less confident. <laughs> We're not getting any Wi-Fi signal in the front of the building. I need you to boost the signal so I can get into there. Oh my god, I have my nice laptop. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sell this one on Nia Ray.ca. Retail Nia Ray. So now we're gonna test the speeds which we're currently getting in the front room. We just head it over there. It's not very hard. We are on the front room and then we're on to our access point which is all the way on the other side of the building and then we are gonna test the speed we're gonna test the download speed I use, I prefer to use fast.com download speed okay, 5.3 megabytes per second which is, is not ideal so now we're gonna try to boost it and see what we can get so here we got our old wireless router which we're gonna use uh, to as a wireless repeater. Wireless repeater is the most basic thing you can use to boost your Wi-Fi signal. It just boosts the signal coming from your other router which is very far away. Your speed is gonna be a lot better. We're gonna plug it. Now we're gonna use the we're gonna use the cable at 45 to connect with the laptop. Fortunately, I have USB-C adapter. We're gonna plug into the number one on uh, the LAN ports. Number one. We use the computer to access the router and we're gonna find that one real easy by just typing uh, using the command prompt. Press the start button then type in CMD and it's gonna open it. And then we type in I P C O N F I G and then press enter and we can browse to our physical Ethernet adapter, not the Wi-Fi, Ethernet adapter, and we're gonna find underneath the default gateway. We're gonna take those numbers, in my case 192.168.1.1.1. I'm gonna paste it into the browser, whatever I have Google Chrome. We're gonna paste it. Now I have my wireless uh, router interface and I'm gonna turn this one into a repeater. On your router, when you sign into the administrator webpage, it will tell you the password, the username and password. I took, I took the sticker off my router, but it should be here. Otherwise, you have to Google your router uh, model number and find the default username and password. Every router is gonna have different interface, but it's gonna be on the same kind of ballpark what I'm gonna do here is gonna be same on other router like the uh, link uh, Dell, Netgear, whatever it is, is gonna be in the same, not exact same, but close to the same configuration I'm doing here. So now I will just go to the wireless, I go to basic settings, and then when I click down here, uh, we are in ac access point mode, which is just the router making its own access point. We don't want it because we want to boost the other access point which we actually we use it so i'm gonna click on access point and we're gonna click repeater and then we're gonna type in wireless network name here with the name of ssid of our original wi-fi network which you want to boost so d-link in this case we are gonna to my side. we're gonna save these settings and then after it, i save other options will appear here just leave it as is and then click uh, apply this is it. So we got the wireless repeater in the boost mode and now we're gonna go back to the same place and check on the same Wi-Fi network which we did before. There it is. We are uh, already more than twice the performance as before. Much better than before. Unfortunately, Chip did figure out how to boost the Wi-Fi range. I mean, I couldn't have done it and I, didn't, I wasn't too confident that he knew anything about Wi-Fi ranges just from talking to him. So stay tuned next time. I'm pretty sure I can stump him, but I'm gonna need some new ideals. Maybe leave some comments down below 
and I'll read them and I'll try to implement that for the next chips tips. Can't stomp me.